Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got a barrel strength bourbon called Old Ezra. Barrel strength. We're going to test it. Lincoln County Method style. Charcoal Mellowed style. Yeah, something like that. Let's test it. Boom. All right, we're in. So we don't know. It's a, it's got a, a charcoal mellowing. The, okay, so this one came in. I want to say November time frame. Okay. Um, Fred Minnick really liked it. Uh, rated it really high. Okay. I don't know if it uh, where else it sat outside of that. So there is a an old Ezra which we had picked up in Oklahoma City, just the one hundred and one. Mm. Um, it is a seven year as well. Okay. So this, this is, is barrel the barrel strength version of 58. that. 58.5 ABV, and it says charcoal mellowed. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Yes. Charcoal mellowed. So we're wondering, is that the Lincoln County method? Is this the maple charcoal? We don't know. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've always said the charcoal mellowing still allows it to be called bourbon. So uh, that's with the Tennessee whiskey. Uh, but clearly, this is bourbon. So, which means at least 51% um, corn. 58.5%. Yes, yes. Now, I, ju I literally just picked this up a couple days ago. Um, was impressed from the get-go. Coin 91. 89, 89. I would like to say naturally any product at, at produ or presented at barrel strength, cask strength, yeah. we are all for. Sure. This, yeah. I feel and, like you're getting more, well, one, you can bring it down to an ABV that you want mm -hmm. or leave it at that barrel strength. Two, I feel like it brings a little bit more punch, a little more flavor to it. Oh, not, just, not just ABV. Definitely. Not just ABV, but flavor. And now, the reason I say definitely there is, is I, and I should have brought even just the standard seven-year-old really to go side by side. You can sure. see the difference of what the barrel strength does. All right. Companies, distilleries, more barrel strength. Nose is strong, rich. Yeah, I get a lot of those caramels. Caramels, yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. Like a like a hard caramel candy. But And, yeah, it's a sweet, really sweet, sugary, yeah. caramelly candy. Vanilla. Vanillas. And sugar. Sugar. <laughs> So, and like I say, this was November, I believe this started, just started showing, this literally, I saw this in a store mm. the other day, I got it, and they said that just came in, Ooh. so I know it was just new to our market Man. here in Kansas. Barrel strength, barrel strength. Yeah. Brings it. But, not that. Good. Yeah. On top of just the barrel strength. Right. Yeah. First, I got that ABV spark, which you would expect at that strength. Then the richness starts to fulfill. Mm. Buttery. Caramel, popcorn, mm -hmm. a little bit of roasted peanut. Butterscotch and butter popcorn. Finishes now, uh, caramel corn. What I was looking for, and I think it's just faintly there, it's on the tail end, is that charcoal mellowing. Mm. It's not real prominent. It's not like um, some of the Tennessee whiskeys. A little bit of sweetness. Is that what you're getting? Yeah. But I'm no, just saying, you know, with, with Jack Daniels or Dickel, you, can get, you really get the charcoal right. mellowing. Yes. Not so much here. You know, I, where is it? Do you, I mean, do you get, are you saying I think that might be the sweetness right at the end. But I'm with you. It's definitely different. Yeah. It's tamed down. I'll put a drop of water in. I want to see what it does. Same smell. Didn't alter at all. Caramel. Huh. Mm. Huh. I got a little dusty corn this time, though. Um, ooh. Dusty corn and butter. A lot of butter. Wow, that is really nice. That is really nice. That's just a beautiful it nose. Is. A little cinnamon, too. This one will be making a run for my uh, top bourbons of the year. Mm. I'm sure it'll be in there. The sweetness of caramel. Um, mm. Vanillas. 
even at seven years, and I, and some people had commented. I saw that seven years is old. Seven years isn't that old. This no. is real. That's really a young. Considering the Elijah Craig and the one point seven five, it got twelve. Twelve. Even yeah. uh, the barrel strength uh, ECBP barrel proof is still twelve years old. Yes. So I wouldn't say it's old. No. I mean, it's nice. This seven years though has really done it justice. Definitely. Definitely. I would blind. That's I would nice. probably think it was ten to twelve years old. I could see that. Yeah. It's got some complexities to mm -hmm. it. Definitely. It's got a lot Just, of uh, corn and oak. It's not over-oaked for me, though. Sweetness mm -hmm. layered in. Really wow. rich. It really Just takes great, the water well, too. Great um, finish. It hangs in there. I'm still tasting it. Let me say, too, we had some people asking where we got these droppers. You are where they can get it. You can go to our website, scotchesdummies.com, get the droppers there. It's got a little our marker on it and everything. A little stave, oak stave. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Angels. We've had like two or three. Ain't, they're actually made in Scotland. Yeah. Um, Angel Share Glass made them. We had bought one originally yep. um, from Sip Dark years ago. We were using it. All the time. And we said, let's see if we can get some of those with our logo on yeah. them. And we did. Now, it's fancy, fancy. It is. But if you we, want a little controlled water dilution and it's a great conversation piece, mm -hmm. this is probably the thing I use most other than a Glen Carrick. I agree. Yeah. So. There's a lot of drinking accessories that we've looked at, that we've reviewed, that are out there, and you're kind of like, okay, that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you get it, and you don't, then you don't use it again. Right. Use this every show. So it's good for perfect water dilution, and it looks nice. I'd say it comes in number two next to a good glass. I do like my... It's bourbon night glass, mm -hmm. so it's like, you know, ours are good, too. But I like Ours bourbon. are good, too. Ours are better. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Ours have an Android head. But they're a little smaller. But which is good and preferred. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get slapped. You'll be like, pow, pow, don't go to it's bourbon night. <laughs> Ours are second rate. They're okay. No, they're better. They're better. <laughs> Ours it are makes okay. it look like you got a lot more. I will tell you when I pour an ounce in here. I feel like I've undershot myself because mm. it's a it's a it's a big glass. Ours are better. <laughs> Ours are better. Someone else designed them, and they're better, much better. Continue. Did we say our coins ninety one? <laughs> Good transition. Eighty nine. <laughs> uh, okay, I gotta go. I gotta do. <laughs> this is low nineties. Hmm. Hmm. 90. I'm going to give it a 91. I was going to say 92, 93 even. 90. They talk about the genuine sour mash whiskey is in that stamp too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sour mash as well. So yeah. it's a sour mash. It's very, very flavorful. I'm going to say 93. I'm actually going to. Oh, really? Okay. 93. EzraBrooks.com. And it comes in a little bit different, unique all at the same time, which is... I'm going to tell you, it's a little hard to do. Sometimes bourbons can get a little samey for me. Yeah. And this one definitely stands mm -hmm. a little bit separate. It has the, to me, it has the wow factor when you first taste it. You're like, wow, what is that? I'm going and to reserve the there. wow for the Elijah Craig barrel proof, but it's definitely got a. I'm not hmm. saying it's the bottle of wow. It's, it's, it's got more of what I would like I'm to say. I'm not saying it's better than ours I'm or worse than ours. I'm going to say it's, it's more like an wow Arsenio factor. Hall. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, that's going back in time. That is. That is. $44 here. Wow. That's a very good price for this. Yeah. Not only at the proof level, but at the flavor level. Rush out yes. and get this. Yeah, if you see it, buy it for sure. Hmm. Um, Did we have more of these? That was the only one, and that's the only one I've seen. That was at uh, ABC at 21st and Tyler, behind the counter. Oh, really? And I said, how much is that one? They looked, they said, $44. It just I'm came sold. in. Sold. said, I'll gone. take it. That's gone. Yeah. Because that's good. It's unique. It's different. Nice job, old Ezra, age seven years. Uh, the bottle and the labeling, good job on that as well. I, all, I mean, the color of the whiskey, the, the gold coloring, the copper coloring of the label. Kind of an old throwback style. Well, yeah, I saw it even next to your other bottle that isn't barrel strength, and it looked better. Mm -hmm. The Everything looked, is mm -hmm. it this gold copper stuff that's in here? Something made it look better. It must be, yeah. So, I mean, yep. even their labeling made it a touch better than their other offering. 
Good call, good stuff. Go get it, affordable. And hopefully, if we found it in our area, you can find it in yours. Now, we do have a traveling dummy. Traveling dummy from Andrew. Love Andrew. Andrew this guy travels, travels a lot. Yes. Yes. Well, Andrew, nice. nice. Uh, he's back in Tokyo. No, Taiwan. Oh, this sorry. This is Taiwan, yeah. yeah. He'd yep. been in Tokyo. This is Taiwan, which is really interesting. Yep. That's right. He said, mm -hmm. in Tokyo? Nope. Nope. I'm in tai pa Taipei, mm -hmm. Taiwan. So we've got Coin 248 at the Taipei 101 building. Which is awesome. Look at that. The it's like a pagoda design. that goes on like a high rise. Just it's keeps gorgeous. advancing up. Yeah, with our coin there, I feel like we're present. Mm -hmm. And then he is in front of the Chiang Kai Shek. Shek. Yeah. Chiang Kai Shek right. Memorial. Yep. World War with, II. Uh, he's wearing one of our first issued uh, design hoodies. So Scotch oh, it. He's Scotch nice. Gods on it. Nice. Yeah. We actually, that wasn't a real high seller design, so we actually dropped that design. He's so, probably, Andrew is one of the few with that shirt. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So by all means, go to our site. You can look up the shirts. You can really trick them up any way you want. We've got a, a couple uh, uh, female fans that have even done the pink pink shirt, was, which looked great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looked good. And then, uh, now you got to be in the European side, but the European side had the one with the red liner. Yeah, I wanted that. Mm -hmm. It's the hoodie with the red inner liner thing to it. I was like, hey, and you're like, can't get that here. Can't get that in the States. Like, I think, though, recently they might have added a Ooh, version of that. I might need it. I might need it. I love it. I love it. Add a drop of water. Mold Ezra 7. I'm going to finish this last drop. Check us out on Patreon. Help support us there. Bread and butter. Uh, helps keep us going. Helps keep the lights on, as they say. Butter Check out, uh, our, all, of course, all of our merchandise. Uh, you might buy a coin, and you might get 91 that was used in this episode. Or 89. <laughs> uh, ScotchTestDummies.com. And, and check our merch, Patreon, and Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Slauncha. Dummies. Dummies.